possession. A horse served mankind in many ways. Cowboys and Indians alike would lay the reins down on the neck of their horse to shoot their weapons while still here steering the horse with their legs. You're looking at an endurance horse, a horse that can run like the wind for miles on end. Possibly a Pony Express horse carrying the U.S. mail back in the 1800s. These horses were usually about half broke and kind of hard to handle, but could run long distances. A land rush mount to get you there to claim the best land. Indians worshipped their horses, relied on them in warfare to chase buffalo across the Great Plains. But if you were a pale face riding through hostile Indian territory, a horse with speed and endurance could save your scalp. It's the age-old battle, Cowboys versus Indians, as the Indian runs the cowboy off. Why? He wanted to protect his food source. That's why. That's right. The Indian did not want the white man coming back to do battle. To do battle with his American buffalo. The supreme rulers of the plains. They weigh as much as 2,000 pounds and stand six feet tall at the shoulder. <laughs> buffalo will wallow in the dirt to cleanse themselves and shield their bodies from biting insects. Huge windpipes supply air to enormous lungs. Their mouths wide open, black tongues flopping in the wind. The buffalo is known to have a fight to the death mentality. Traditionally, they are scared of nothing and very confident of their ability to defend themselves against any intruder. Until the white man entered the equation with his high-tech rifles, and they began killing buffalo as a pastime. The railroad brought buffalo hunters and hauled off buffalo bones. This infuriated the Indians, for they worshipped the buffalo and wasted nothing for eons of time. Buffalo provided mankind with food, shelter, and tools. Industrial greed was taking its toll. And after 15 years of slaughter, buffalo would roam no more. By 1883, only 800 buffalo had survived from 60 million. And the white man would come back. And he would chase the Indian from his native land. And he would do battle with the monarch of the plains. And anyone who enters the domain of the buffalo had to be bad to the bone.
Check it out. The ground moves underneath him. 